Cheers, and welcome to Wine Wednesday. Today's topic is how to get onto and off of the floor if you've had a knee replacement. I'll put this down so I don't spill it. I folded a towel roll, which is what we like to use for anybody kneeling, whether you've had a replacement or not, because this cushions the knee, okay? You're going to place it below your kneecap, right on top of the tibia, when you kneel. I'll put it down on the ground. If you don't have strength to do this lunge, then it's good to have a sturdy chair, be next to a countertop or a bed, some other surface that you can use for leverage. I'm thankfully strong enough to do that. If I were you and I had my knee done on the right side, I would use my left knee as my kneeling knee. So I'm going to kneel down, half kneel, and then one of two options. I can either place this hand down on the floor and then move my leg, or I can move this leg here. And I have the balance and flexibility enough to do that. So ne the next consideration is how much knee bend do I have? If I went right from here and dropped my hips to the right, I would have to have a minimum of 90 degrees for my knee to feel comfortable. But just to be on the safe side, I would place my hands a little higher so my knee angle is a little bit more open and there's less pressure on my knee. I'm gonna do that now. Place my hands forward, drop to the side. And so now my knees are more than 90 degrees. There's less bend in my knee and less pressure. To reverse that, I come back up. I use my right leg as my work leg here. And then if I had a bed or a chair, I'd use it to help me. But in my case, I could just use the other knee. So I push up, hinging forward so I can use my glutes. And there I am. That's the efficient way to get on and off the floor, a safe way to get off, off and on the floor when you've had a knee replacement. Hope you have a good day. Cheers.